Among those fighting for victims of sexual assault to be heard, an advocate and a law student who knows firsthand what these victims are going through. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson has her story and why some survivors choose to not come forward. I was really numb for most of it. I just, it was like I was living in a dream. Jamie Wiley was the victim of a violent stalker. I was just afraid of him. I didn't know what he would do to me. Um, there were a lot of death threats and, and um, physical attempts um, to attack me. Due to his choices, I uh, had to quit my job, move in with my parents, and uh, couldn't leave my parents' basement for close to a year. It was just too dangerous at that point. I'd say the worst part of it for me was at night. Um, anything, I, anytime I would hear something, I'd wake up screaming, I'd run upstairs to get my parents' gun. She was his third victim. Unfortunately, due to an oversight with the court, he uh, ended up spending less than a year in prison on his first two victims and no time in my case. He essentially spent the same amount of time in prison that I did hiding for him and not a day more. Wiley's case made her realize that there are still holes in the justice system when it comes to helping and protecting victims. Now an advocate and a law student at the University of Utah, she knows firsthand what these victims in her cases are going through. The very first trial that I walked into with my boss, Heidi, was actually the same courtroom that he was sentenced in. Um, and so it felt good for me to be able to walk in as a legal intern and not a legal intern and not a victim and i was able to hold the victim's hand and i knew what she was going through in that exact room when wiley first reached out for help in her own case she received full support i had a great police officer who was very understanding and wanted to help me out but paul cassell professor of law at the u of u says that's not always the case especially with victims of sexual assault he says many don't speak out because we live in a victim Victim blaming culture. For too long, victims have been disbelieved. Victims have had to sort of prove that uh, why were you out late at night or why were you wearing provocative clothing? And we need to change the focus away from what the victim was doing to looking at what happened to the victim and what the defendant was doing or what the suspect was doing. Even if they feel like a victim right now, they won't always feel like a victim um, and they can get through it. Reporting in Salt Lake City, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. If you or someone you know is a victim of stalking, contact the Victim Connect helpline. That number is 1-855-484-2846. Victims of sexual assault can call the Rape and Sexual Assault Crisis Line. That number, 1-888-421-1100.